happy day students computer science chapter 1 introduction to artificial intelligence yes most of you would have heard about artificial intelligence right yes tell me what you have heard about artificial intelligence yes it is useful for remote home control very good now let's see what are the topics we are going to cover in this chapter artificial intelligence this will have introduction then the sub categories of artificial intelligence advantages and disadvantages So, as an introductory part, we can say artificial intelligence is an approach to make a computer, a robot, or a product think how smart humans think. Like just like if we have an issue, we think over the problem to solve a problem. Similarly, we are training a computer to think like us. Yeah. Now, the subcategories of artificial intelligence: narrow, general, and artificial super intelligence. So, when it comes to your textbook, it will be narrow, general. And strong. Yeah. So before for proceeding further, let's see a interesting video on artificial intelligence, which will be an eye opener for you. Hey, uh, in various other uh, areas, and in last, I will explain uh, various branches of AI. So let's start this video. So now let's see uh, what is uh, artificial uh, intelligence. Actually, uh, it's a branch of computer. Uh, uh, it's a science of uh, making machines do things that would require the intelligence if done by man, as said by the Minsky. And uh, it is uh, exciting the new efforts to make computers things, as said by the Hawkland. And uh, it is the study of the computations that uh, make it possible to perceive, reason, and act, as said by the Winston. And then it's a study of uh, how to do things. Uh, which at the moment people do better by rich and night the term artificial intelligence was first coined in 1956 by john mccarthy at uh, mit now let us see the various levels of uh, artificial intelligence the first level of ai is known as the narrow ai and uh, an artificial intelligence is said to be the narrow when the machine can perform a specific task better than a human then the current research of uh, whole ai is uh, here right now and the next level is the uh, general ai so an artificial intelligence reaches the general state when it can perform any intellectual task with the same accuracy level as a human would so that means uh, when a computer uh, will reach to the same accuracy level as of human then we will call it as a general ai and the last one is a strong ai that means an ai uh, is a strong when it can beat humans in many tasks so obviously the second level and the third level are uh, far away Uh, from the reality the most of the ai uh, current state of the ai is uh, under this category that is the narrow ai so let's see uh, what time will come when we reach to the second or the third state now let's see uh, the various applications of ai so the first device is the smartphone i'm taking and we will see that how the ai uh, is working in the smartphones So when we are using a smartphone we are interacting with artificial intelligence whether we know it or not let's see how so we have various uh, built in uh, smart assistants uh, available in the smartphone for example uh, google's voice assistant so uh, i think you have uh, used it so when you say okay google or hello google it wakes up and it asks you to how can i help as you can see in this uh, image then you can start interaction with this voice assistant you can uh, ask it uh, uh, to uh, call a particular person uh, you can ask it to fix a meeting you can ask uh, uh, this voice assistant to find a place on a google map you can find you can ask uh, it to uh, play a particular music etc so lots of thing you can uh, uh, do with this uh, voice assistant So similar voice assistants are also found in uh, uh, various other uh, smartphones, and they are developed by various other uh, companies such as uh, Apple. So Apple uh, has developed Siri. Uh, there is another uh, 
smart assistant uh, bixby by samsung and uh, zhao ai by xiaomi and then cortana by microsoft uh, of course uh, that is not in smartphone uh, uh, it is for pcs and uh, then alexa uh, of amazon so alexa uh, is a very famous uh, you might have uh, seen various advertisement in tv or you might have actually used uh, these uh, standalone uh, devices uh, alexa devices so uh, you can interact with alexa uh, such as uh, you can ask it to uh, play a particular song you can ask it uh, to do a particular things when it is uh, uh, combined with other hardware such as uh, uh, lights fan etc you can give commands to operate them uh, now uh, another thing is the camera uh, which heavily uses artificial intelligence let's see how so uh, the one thing is uh, when we take portrait mode uh, with a single lens okay uh, with a single lens then uh, ai uh, uh, plays its role generally uh, you find a two camera setup uh, in mobile phones for taking such portrait mode portrait mode actually means uh, human face is highlight while the background is uh, blurred as you can see in this photo so in two camera setup actually one camera is the main camera while other camera is used for uh, depth so uh, such photographs uh, can be captured with uh, these two camera setup uh, but what happens uh, if there is only a single camera it's still you have seen that various uh, phones are able to uh, capture this portrait mode uh, photo with a single camera so this is done actually with the help of ai uh, where artificial intelligence actually uh, uh, locate the human face and then it uh, identifies uh, uh, edges and then it uh, uh, blur all the non-faces objects like this so here ai uh, uh, is playing its role and the second thing is uh, the camera setting optimizations based on the scene so this is uh, extensively uh, being used by the mobile phones right now uh, you can see that uh, generally uh, various mobile companies uh, advertise their phone uh, with the uh, that they, they they have the camera with the ai i mean the ai camera in the phone so this is what uh, they actually mean uh, generally uh, based on the scene the camera setting is uh, uh, optimized i mean uh, if you are taking a photograph of uh, food or photograph of a a room or photograph of a flower or a photograph of some natural scene so based on the contents of uh, that scene the camera settings are automatically adjusted by the artificial intelligence so we can get the uh, best photograph uh, uh, from these settings so these settings are such uh, such as uh, exposure shutter speed iso level or uh, camera focus and uh, camera aperture etc